Hello everyone and welcome to WordPress demo class. So what is a WordPress? WordPress is a content management system and it is an open source software that is used to create beautiful websites, blogs or any application. You can design any kind of website. It can be e-commerce website, real estate website or a booking site. The best thing is WordPress is free and uh, more than 34% websites in the world are designed in WordPress. It is number one CMS in the world. This is the official website of the WordPress, wordpress.org. And here you can download WordPress. Now you can see here, showcase. Here you can see different websites which are uh, developed on WordPress. So you can see here Sony Music, Facebook, Newsroom, Java Traveler, Capgemini, so on. So, so many big websites are using WordPress. To create a website on a WordPress, first we need a server and database. So you can download Apache. This is the official website. Here you can download this and install it. This is a XAMPP control panel and then activate this Apache and MySQL. These two things we need. Second thing we need WordPress, which you can download from this website, wordpress.org. Click here, get WordPress and then download WordPress. So it will download WordPress. Now after downloading the WordPress, you open the website, your uh, folder where XAMPP is installed. Inside XAMPP, you have this folder, htdoc folder. Inside that, you can place the WordPress folder. Now let's see the installation steps quickly. So I'll extract this WordPress here. And this is the folder after extracting. Just give the name here. In this case, I'll give demo site. Make sure all the files are here. These are, these are PHP files. So because WordPress is based on PHP. Second thing, we need a database. So open them. Here you can click admin, it will open localhost, PHP my admin. Here click on database and give the name here. So let's give here demo site. You can give any name here. Now database is ready and folder is ready. In browser type localhost and then the folder name. So it will open this setup configuration file. Choose the language. Let's go. Here is the database. So in this case, it is demo site. Now there is no username. Uh, username is root by default because we have not set the username for database and there is no password. Let's submit it. Run the installation. Now this information is about the website. So site title. Here I'll give demo site. Username. See. If you are creating the website live, never give admin admin as username and password. The reason is this is the most common username and password. Your website will get easily hacked. So the golden rule is never give admin and admin as username and password. Because this, uh, this installation is on my system, for me it is easy to remember admin admin. So I'm giving here admin and admin. But on live, never give this. Now this is a weak password, so I have to confirm it. It's a weak password. Your email ID is used for every purpose because this is admin email ID. Here, let me just give my email ID and then install WordPress. After installing, this is your website. Localhost, the name of the website and here you can see. Now how to log into dashboard. To log in here, we use this path. This is a standard path, wp-login.php, which of course we can change because of the security reason. Now here, let's log in to that dashboard. Now let's see uh, how to create a page. So go to pages here, add new. So here I'll add about us page. And here we can create different blocks. This is about us page. 
let's publish this page and you can view the page so here is about us page now here I'll create a sub page so how to create a sub page I'll add a page let's name it courses then I'll publish it now under this courses I'll create a WordPress page now again add a new page WordPress and I'll just write here this is WordPress page so here you can go to document and then page attribute choose the parent it is inside courses so I am selecting this courses let's publish this page now when you view this page you will see the in URL see it's under courses so I'll create one more page here contact us now if you open the website you cannot see the navigation bar menu bar now how to add it go here appearance go to menus and then select you can type anything here so I've given here main menu create it then add the pages from here so I'll select these pages home about us contact course let's add to menu and then we can rearrange it just drag and drop very simple so under courses we have a WordPress now we need to select the location so I'll select here primary and then save it open the website refresh it and see the navigation bar here under courses WordPress contact us all the pages are there now let's change the look and feel of the website go to themes so what is a theme theme help us to achieve the design things so it's about look and feel and second most important thing is plugin plugin help us to achieve some functionality like you want to add a contact form a chatbot um, SEO security or maybe image slider so everything can be achieved with the help of plugin let's uh, search the theme here so I'll go here in this website so here you can see so many themes are there so let's choose this theme so you can see here rating is good and active installation is also very good and last update is also recently so select the name copy it go here and then search it install it then activate it now once you install a theme most of the theme recommend some plugins like this theme recommends these plugins so you can install these plugins so let's first check the website this is the other theme the old theme now let's refresh the page and look and feel will be changed now see here but all the pages content everything is same here so that is the advantage of WordPress now let's install a plugin and uh, for contact us page so for plugin go to plugin add new okay. search here contact form 7 and then install it so here is the form so this these plugins provide short code to use so here is the short code so let's copy this short code and go to the page where you want to show this form and just copy that code here then update it let's open the page 
and here is the contact form. You can see here name, email, subject. If you try to send it, see the validation. This is, these are required field. Now let's add phone number here. So how to add phone number here? Go back to contact form, edit it. Here in this code, let's add a label. Your phone. I'll make it required. Close the label and then insert a number. Click here and then required field. Let's change it to phone and insert the tag and then save it. Now let's open this and refresh the page. So here you can see phone number is added. Now when you add this phone number a new field so go to mail and here you have to update this form. So here all the emails will go to this email ID. This is the form and subject which you can modify but here phone number is not added in email. So here we have to add it. This is the code. So phone then save it. Okay, so this way we can install plugin and theme. Now what if I want to give the access to some other user so that that person can write the blog or maybe update the content. So I can add the user here. So go here, add new user and let's create a new user here. I'll give my name. So same email ID cannot be used here. So I'll use here different email ID, which is my Gmail ID. And then you can specify these things. Okay, so we can create a password here. It's a weak password. So you can select this option if you want to send email, otherwise deselect. Now, what role you want to assign? So in this case, I'll assign editor so the person can modify the content or add the new content. So let's add new user. Now you can see here, uh, admin and some, uh, this is another user. So this is admin. Admin can do all, change the settings, appearance, plugin, all these stuff and add the content. Now I log in with this account. So I'll open here incognito window and then log in with the other user detail. So you will see the difference here. Now you can see I cannot install plugin, I cannot install theme, but what I can do I can add the content. So you can see here pages which I can trash, delete, edit or add new content or blog which I can write or modify the content because it is editor this account is editor now let's go back here so uh, there are so many options in WordPress we can make the website secure SEO friendly optimize it okay we can see we'll see how to create e-commerce website and there are so many concepts that latest concept of the uh, web development so all things we will cover in this course.